What's up, guys? It's your boy, the one and only, the only one, Digital Chef, and we are back again. My sound is messed up. Fix it! I just spit all on my, my, my camera. Okay. Okay, so now that we have that fixed, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, today we are talking about how to make quick adjustments. This is the next step of taking your game to the next level the next level. That was a level up. That's what I was trying to demonstrate there, like going to the next level of your of your game. Before we get into the video today, guys, I just want to make sure that you hit that subscribe button, the like button, comment, join the brand new chef fam. That's right. We have membership now. Why am I doing this? Now we have a tier one, two and three for membership. So if you want to join and support your boy and be part of the chef fam, you can become a member for just as little as one ninety nine. That gets you emotes. It gets you uh, early access to vids. It is is really dope. It really will help me out and help out the YouTube channel grow. So if you want to become a member, head over to the membership channel on the YouTube page and go ahead and sign up. But enough self promo. That's not what we do on this channel. We're getting into how to make quick adjustments for your team. Let's get into this. So the reason why you want to make quick adjustments is mainly because you want to get your defense into a position or offense into a position to be successful against your opponent, right? Your failure to make quick adjustments and to change your defense to cover what your opponent is doing will ultimately be on your hands when you take the L. So changing your defense and offense to match the scheme that your opponent is running is a big part in being successful in Madden. And throughout the years, Madden has actually changed how we make quick adjustments. When I was playing and when I left the game you were actually able to make quick adjustments on your d-pad when i came back i found out pretty quick that the d-pad had gone away at least some of the adjustments on the d-pad had gone away so I, I wanted to do this video because i feel like other people who are maybe new to madden or don't know about these things it may help them out so if you're a madden expert or pro this may not be for you but if you're trying to figure out how to make quick adjustments and how to do this effectively this video is going to be for you so stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna go on defense and it doesn't matter what formation we come out in. I'm gonna come out into any random formation and let the computer pick any play. So we're in we're in practice mode. It doesn't matter what team we are. We're just gonna walk through the adjustments, okay? So the first adjustment I'm gonna tell you are the basics as far as like your defense. So you have a whole defense adjustment and then you have individual group adjustments and then you have player adjustments. So think about it as a tier. So tier one would be the entire defense. Tier two would be the like linebacking core or defensive line or secondary. And then tier three is you actually can go and adjust a specific player and give them a adjustment tier one we're going to talk about right now and that is actually going to shift your entire defense right so i'm going to press my left bumper on playstation it will be l1 i really like playstations better l1 l2 r1 r2 left bumper left trigger that doesn't make any sense to me um you're gonna press your l1 or l b button yeah lb button and you'll see that it brings up this menu here and you have entire shift the defense or you can run commit pass commit run right run left now these were different buttons in other games i'm not going to go over that uh, mainly because it doesn't help us right now so you'll see i can have a whole defensive shift i have my entire defense shift right shift left sh spread our pin so let's see what that looks like so i'm going to go ahead and on my left stick press shift right and you'll see my entire box shifts to the right okay now if i shift them to the left my entire defense shifts to the left now what happens if i pitch my entire defense even my secondary comes down so it's almost like you pinch your line your linebackers and you press okay now if i come back up i can spread and now it looks like it's the it's the equivalent of backing up your defense and spreading out your offense line and your d-line so if you were to do something where you're actually shifting not only your d-line and your linebackers is probably quicker to do it as a whole defensive shift what do i mean by that so if i wanted to like make a d-line shift and i pinch and i want to make a linebacker shift and i pinch it's probably faster just to do an entire defensive shift and just do a pinch like that right and then now i'm moving three groups at one time instead of just one group individually so if you're pinching multiple groups at a time just go ahead and make a defensive line shift it's a lot faster than doing it once at a time as you'll see here both my linebackers and my d-line moved 
second thing we're going to talk about is contain so a lot of blitzes are made in madden based off of using the contain so let me show you what happens when you contain right um, and we're gonna have them call a pass play so you can see pretty much the effects of contain has on both pass and on run so i'm gonna go ahead click my l1 or our left bumper and i'm going to click rb next which contains my uh outside rushers so it can be a corner it can be a linebacker it's whoever is responsible for outside so you'll see that now my two defensive ends has a contain hook type of flow towards the quarterback so the first thing you'll notice is that instead of going at them they should technically dip that outside shoulder and keep that outside arm free that is what contain should do it gives them that outside arm free and it should make them rush and create this natural pocket inside now if you have a stunt or something and you don't contain you could lose outside leverage and let's say here uh, we won't contain and let's see what animation we get so you see here i get cut you see here i get cut on one because my defender is going straight at the defender so let's try one more time with no contain again it's a straight up block on both of them so let's go so now we'll run this without contain right and you'll see that instead of keeping that outside arm free this defender actually goes straight at the blocker and he's he's squared up now the reason why they do this and this is i'm assuming this is what madden has brought into the game as like real football um when you don't know whether it's pass or run your defender is responsible for a gap whether it's b gap whether it's c gap whether it's d gap and those gaps are in between the individual offense alignment so you'll see like d gap c gap a um, b gap a gap and the same thing on this side right so because they're not in a contain mode they're not going to take d gap which is outside they're actually going to try to control their gap meaning they have a two-way go so the guy is going to get him face up and try to control both gaps we're not going to go over when you should contain and when you shouldn't contain i just want to show you guys the different blocking schemes that happen when you don't run contain on your defender so we'll run contain on this one and i'll just show you the difference again so you see, boom, those outside arms are free. They're making sure that they stay outside. Next, we wanna talk about quick adjustments for the second tier, right? So second tier, again, is going to be individual groups and not the entire defense. So again, first tier one, the entire defense, tier two, individual groups. So if I want to control my linebackers, I'm going to press right on the D-pad. And you'll see that I can shift all the linebackers right, I can pinch them all down, I can spread them, I can then go, I can just blitz one linebacker, blitz another linebacker, blitz all linebackers, I'll zone all linebackers, right? So I have these adjustments I can make for the group, which is on my left stick, and then I have adjustments I can make for the individual, which is on the right stick, but then I can take it one step deeper, which we'll do in the, the next tier, right? So I just wanna show you shift all left, shift all right and then oh, i'm sorry i did the whole defense so i can shift all left and then i can press right on the d-pad again shift all right i can press right on the d-pad again and then press down on the on the uh stick and then pinch and i can press right again and press up and then spread them all out so you see how it's just moving my linebackers around that's all you're doing, just moving that one single group. And you can do the same thing for D-line. Instead of pressing right, you're gonna press left for your D-line. So left on D-line, you go left, you go right, you pinch down, pinch up, so forth, and so forth, and so forth. Now, secondary is, you guessed it, is going to be triangle or Y on Xbox. You're gonna be able to do the same thing on triangle. You can base align all of your corners by pressing tri uh, triangle or Y left, give cushion up, uh, triangle show blitz left and then press down i think we all know that those are pretty much our base adjustments that a lot of people make i believe the mixture of being able to know when to use tier one and tier two adjustments really make you a lot faster like i said um in tier one if you want to shift your whole defense you're going to use tier one uh adjustments versus a tier two adjustments because it just takes more time and man it has a slight delay in between your adjustments so being able to switch everybody at one time and then make one shift like this just to your lot to your secondary is faster than doing individual groups like we just went over so we went over tier one 
We went over tier two, those are groups. Now we're gonna get into the weeds. This is this is the bread and butter right here. Tier three is where the men and boys are separated. And I still haven't mastered this coming out of set playing in 16, um, but I'm getting a lot better. And I kind of have to, I just slow my brain down to really focus on what I'm doing because sometimes button shifts and you can mess up. But if I want to do an individual adjustment, they change in every group, okay? So we're gonna start off with linebackers. So linebackers, you'll see down after I press right, down in the left corner, you have quick adjustments. If I press right again, I then go into a select a defender menu. Now, once I'm in the select the defender menu, I can press the button that represents each defender, and then it will give me the appropriate adjustments I can make for that defender. So you'll see here, I press X and I get middle third, hook curl, middle read, He's in curl flat right now. So it's black telling me he's currently in curl flat. I do QB spy, blitz, hard flat, man coverage. So those are all the adjustments I can make for this individual guy. And that's just one guy, right? So now I can get real creative. And instead of coming out and running base cover three, I can do something like this. And now I can have one guy blitzing and then one guy taking middle thirds if I'm expecting like a deep post by maybe um, 81 over here. And then I can start just really making my defense look something different. And now when the defender sees the defense I'm running, he has no idea what adjustments I'm making. He has to read the adjustments on the fly because the play art that he's seeing on previous play doesn't match what he's seeing on the field. And that's a good way to confuse your defenders. So those are the quick adjustments for linebacker. Linemen are same thing, right? You're going to double click on the group and then click again to get to individuals. So if I want to do offensive line, it's left, left. And now all my offensive linemen are going to be pulled up. I can select a particular guy. And you'll see here, I get another menu. I can do stream flats, hard flats, hook curl, curl flats, bluff blitz, blitz, QB spy, man coverage. And that's on my defensive end. If I go D tackle, pretty much the same thing. I can actually drop my D tackle back into coverage. I can drop, I can bluff blitz my defensive tackle. And what bluff blitz is going to do is going to fake a blitz and then he's going to drop back immediately to the middle of the field. So you'll see here, it puts him right in between the linebackers. Now, a lot of people will create blitzes out of this bluff blitz because it actually has a guy on the line and he should start off like he's blitzing and he drops back. So it does take a blocker away and the way they're creating these blitzes is by making these individual adjustments which is why they're so important so again we'll left left on the stick and then it pulls up the individual group and then you can select which individual you want to change and now we'll go to secondary secondary same thing you're going to press yy or triangle triangle again and then you can do individual coverage for your corners now corners have a way more extensive uh, coverage pattern because they can just do a lot more things. Sometimes they can spy, sometimes they can drop back to the middle, sometimes they can go hard flats, soft flats. They do can do a lot of different things. It just depends on where they're lined up and which adjustments you get out of that formation. I, su I suggest that you run your formations often to see which adjustments you can make and how you can use those to stop your opponent. But you'll see here, my slot corner has man coverage, QB spy, bluff, blitz. Um, stream flats, hard flats, vertical hook, curl. And then my safety has a different set, which would be inside quarter, blitz, man coverage, QB spy, deep half, inside third, hook, curl. So you see those are different based off of position and also based off of where you line up at on the field and formation. So now that we've gone over both defensive, individual, group, there's also something else you can do on defense and this is why defense is so hard to master because now I can get into concepts for individual receivers as well so now let's talk about if I want to make adjustments for individual receivers so let's say I want to press right and I want to press but I, the guy has one really good receiver that has streak apprentice on him and I don't want to press the streak apprentice well I can press Y and instead of doing YY I can do um, individual so now you'll see down here at individual is a so now I can do individual and now instead of my particular guys it's showing me the offensive guy so now I can have individual coverages for a particular guy so let's just say we don't want to press uh, B we can select B and then it pulls up another menu for everything that we can do 
for B. So I can back off, shade left, shade right, or press R. I can spotlight him. So I'm just going to back off. I'm press up on the right stick. So now you'll see the only person that's off coverage is my corner that is responsible for Sneed. Oh, what if I want to spotlight him? I'll do the same thing. I would just go to Y once or triangle once, and then I can spotlight an individual. I can click on that individual. So press B again, and then you'll see spotlight comes up spotlight now what's going to happen with spotlight is the receiver once that receiver comes into that particular defender zone that defender is going to key on that offensive guy so you'll see here let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and run that back really quick let's go to instant replay you'll see here that i spotlighted b and as soon as he broke, he starts to come into the defender's zone. And my defender went ahead and broke on that route because spotlight. I put the spotlight on him. Now, the last tip I'm going to give you about defensive adjustments are just speed. I've found that it's a lot faster if you do individual groups one at a time instead of trying to do several groups at a time. So I would not press Y. Um, and then give cushion, press Y again, and then try to press. Can you see how long it took for them to get back to their press? I like to skip around my groups. So if I'm going to press on my DBs, I'm not gonna try to then do a, another adjustment like shade them inside. I'm gonna come back to them at the end. So you really have to get your rhythm on making adjustments and figure out what's fastest for you. Again, once you make an adjustment to a particular group, they lag a little bit if you make the wrong adjustment. So if you shade left, but you meant to shade right, going right back to shade right is, is going to be a little bit of lag. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna shade left and then try to shade right again. And I already shaded right, but look, they haven't moved, right? So I need to shade right again. So if I try to shade left, you see it didn't take the command. So it, you almost have to wait until your guys are set to make the shift again. So they're not set, they're, they're not set, it didn't work. So now they're set, I can make the shift. Now they're set, I can make the shift. So same thing with D-line, they're, they're set now, I can make the shift. They're set now, I can make the shift. But if I try to make the shift too fast, it didn't work. So that time it didn't work, it, it was too fast of a shift. So when I make my adjustments, I make sure I, I go from what group is the most important for the adjustment to the group that's the least important important for the adjustment. So if I'm trying to blitz, the most important group is my DBs. So in blitzes, I always go DBs first. Then I go linebackers and then I go D line and then I make and then I'm really done when I start making my local adjustments like moving a player up, moving them down, moving them closer, moving them out. Now the next thing I want you guys to realize is on my play art, if I have a blitzer close to the line, he takes the contain, right? outside the line he doesn't take the contain this is something that a lot of pros use to set up their blitzes because it changes how this play operates and that is it those are all of your defensive adjustments it's a lot to take in but whew, it's, it, i felt like it would be a good video so i hope you guys enjoy it um this is a little more informational and in teaching this isn't the high octane videos that we normally do which is not ever a thing right um now nah, but anyway i really hope you guys enjoy this video again we just got our membership so i hope you guys become members of the channel i'll try to do more stuff like this in the future um hit the like button hit the subscribe button it's been your boy dj the chef and this is how to make quick defensive adjustments it's been love it's always love and we out